Okay, let's have a look at how we uh, describe the picture. While we are describing a picture, we will use so-called divide and conquer technique. Okay, let's explain this technique. You see a picture in the screen, so in the exam also you will see this kind of pictures, all right? When we are describing picture, generally we start with the introduction part, okay? In the introduction part, we can say in this whole picture, what do you see, okay? For example, in this picture, I can see blah, 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 all right? This is the introduction section of the of this technique okay then we will uh, continue with the main focus okay what is the aircraft type uh, markings on the aircraft the aircraft is single engine or multi-engine narrow or wide body okay which phase of flight do you see Any damage, flame, smoke on this main focus? Do you see um, any color or company name, etc.? Right? These are the uh, maybe the main focus topics. All right. Then we will look at the background. Okay. In backgrounds, uh, what we can talk about is, for example, weather, right? Is the weather sunny, rainy, foggy? Okay. Also, you can look at the area, terrain, mountains, forests, and city. This kind of informations also we may talk about. Okay. Also, you can see and look at that um, near buildings hangars or towers okay in the background then you can continue with the foreground in the foreground grass sand sea river okay whatever location is uh, maybe runway or taxiway okay or out of this and then we conclude with the results why do you think it happens? Uh, maybe cause you can give cause and results. Okay, any procedures about it? Maybe you can add. Okay, any similar experience? Maybe you live. You can add. All right. This is the divide and conquer technique. Okay, you can start with introduction, main focus, background, foreground, and results. Okay. As we talk in the introduction parts. In this picture, for example, I can see a picture, possibly that was taken after a serious aircraft incident. It looks a little bit serious incident because I can see that slides are open. Okay. We start with in this picture I can see, all right, and explain as an introduction. Okay. And then we will continue with. The main focus. All right. As we talk about uh, aircraft, phase, hazard, and extras, maybe the topics of main focus. All right. Generally, let's um, make an example by using these options. All right. In the main focus, it looks a uh, Boeing 737 is out of the way, standing on the grass. It looks it happened after landing because okay, I'm saying the face. It looks it happened after landing because its nose gear is folded or broken due to possible heavy load. I can see. And if um, I can see any fire or smoke, possibly engine is not damaged after landing. It seems all passengers and crew have evacuated the aircraft by slides. Okay. Then we can continue with background. 
You can talk in background section from the weather area and near buildings. Let's have a look at the sample for backgrounds. In the background, the weather looks very foggy. Also, it looks some trees right behind of the aircraft, maybe some forests around there. I can't see any buildings possibly this far from apron and near to a runway. Okay. We talked about weather, area and near buildings in the background. The next section is as we have talked foreground and grounds and location informations may be the topic. In the foreground, for example, let's continue with the example for foreground. In the foreground, aircraft is standing on the grass. In front of uh, left front slides, there is a person, maybe from maintenance, who will care the aircraft after incident. Okay. And then, the result, the final part of our technique. The result we will talk a little bit about why do you think it happened cause and results any procedures and any similar experience okay let's have a look at our example for result part as a result it looks like a runway excursion due to very foggy weather i think the most possible reason to this incident is visibility there are certain strict rules for pilots especially for low visibility approaches we have to know and apply all these rules to avoid this kind of incidents, okay? We have talked all these options, alright? Okay. So, if you combine all we have talked about, you can get a great description of a picture, okay? Let's combine all it together. In this exam, you see the picture and start with the introduction parts. Okay. In this picture, I can see a picture possibly that was taken after a serious aircraft incident. It looks a little bit serious incident because I can see that slides are open. Okay. In the main focus, it looks a Boeing 737 is out of the way standing on the grass it looks it happened after landing because its nose gear is folded or broken due to possible heavy load i can't see any fire or smoke possibly engine is not damaged after landing it seems that all the passengers and crew have evacuated the aircraft by slice then we pass to the background okay focused on the background now in the background, the weather looks very foggy. Also, it looks some trees right behind of uh, the aircraft, maybe some forest around there. I can't see any buildings, possibly it is far from Apron and near to Arambe. In the foreground, looking here, aircraft is standing on the grass in front of left front slide. There is a person. This is uh, left front slide, and there is a person, maybe from maintenance, who will care the aircraft after incident. Okay. Now, as a result, it looks like a runway excursion due to very foggy weather. Our result. Okay. I think the most possible reason to this uh, in incident is visibility. There are certain strict rules for pilots, especially for low visibility approaches. We have to know and apply all these rules to avoid this kind of incidents. Okay? We described the whole picture by using all this technique. Okay? And if you apply this in the real exam, I believe that it will help you so much.